What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Walls video. Now, I'm going to be kind of be following on from the previous video in this video, and I'm going to be talking about more about transfers, because there's been more transfer activity since my last video. And I'm going to try I'm trying to link it into our, our chances this season, how we're going to perform, because we've had two solid seasons in the Premier League. Our first season, you know, we did very well, we qualified for Europe, reached an FA Cup semi-final and finished seventh in the league. Brilliant first season. Finished seventh again last season. You reached the European quarterfinal. Shame that we missed out on, on a second consecutive European campaign. But that's 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 football sometimes. And you know, a bit of technology mixed in there as well. But I'm not here to talk about about the three letter word. You can Watch my other videos ranting and raving on about how how flawed it was last season. What I'm, what I'm here to talk about in this video is is our chances this season. And a couple of weeks ago, if I made this video a couple of weeks ago, I would have said uh, I would be happy with with, with mid table with the investment we 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 put in. And a couple of weeks ago, our only transfer activity was outgoing. We sold Matt Doherty. For well, it's it's a bargain in 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 Spurs' book. It really should be more, especially when when Ben Ben Chilwell he plays a similar role similar role to Matt Doherty, but on the other side went for fifty million pounds to Chelsea. I mean, it's it's just an absolute steal steal for them, and it's we we've just been mugged off a bit there, but. We have we our transfer activity has improved and we have bought in Fabio Silva as I as I said in the last last video thirty five million pounds it looks very promising eighteen years old has a lot of potential and that's 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 one of the main things that that I like that that Foson have uh, have done since they they took over the club is they've invested more in 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 the youth you know especially this season as well. Fabio Silva's come through the door, 18 years of age. Vitor Ferreira, you know, was was announced yet yesterday, our most recent signing, on loan with an option to buy 20 years old, and it's it's so, so a big a bit of experience thrown in there as well. Jamatino, a couple of years ago, for five million pounds, absolute steal. Can't can't beat a bit bit of experience, and you know maybe we might have even got a, a better, e even bigger bargain. Than Jamatinho in in Fernando Marcel, who I believe it was around two million pounds. I think we paid for him from from Leon. So we've really invested wisely, and Foson have really pulled it out of the bag. And that's why I think we could have another, another strong season. And now maybe maybe we we don't have Europe to contend with this season, which is disappointing. Obviously. Obviously, like like every year, it's it's still up up for grabs. It, it all depends how we start. Now we've got Sheffield United on Monday, and our last game was pretty poor poor against them. We really should have won. And if we if if we if we even got a point, if we if we didn't concede that uh, late Sheffield United winner, then we would have sneaked in, uh, snuck in, <laughs> however you uh, however you say it, into the top six, but. And that's that's probably motivation to exact revenge on Sheffield United on Monday. And I think what the thing we've got to focus on, we've had a couple of solid seasons in the Premier League now. Two seventh place finishes, you know, we've qualified for Europe and we we've we have we we've we've we have achieved a lot in a in a in a very little space of time. And what I think, what I, what I think is the next step is winning some silverware. Now you gonna it's all well and good, you know. Throwing money at it and you know be it being being successful uh, like like we have have been and you know very very content with two seventh place finishes a very good run in Europe you know we we've we've had a, a successful past couple of seasons but sometime you need to back it up with silverware and I think we have a really decent chance of you know winning the League Cup I'd really love if we if we won the FA Cup it, it, more than the League Cup to be honest because the League Cup. You know, it used to be you know, quite a reputable competition, but its reputation has 
been been tainted, you know, uh, over the uh, over the past couple of decades. It has steadily declined, but you know, silverware is silverware. It's 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 still a cup, and for a club like us, you know, it'd be it'd, I'd I'd love to see us lift some silverware this season, to be honest. And I, I think it's about time we did as well. Now we got Stoke. In, in the second round of the League Cup, that is next Thursday, a week today as I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the 10th of September. And I think we should we should get past Stoke. And if we do get past Stoke, we, we face either Gillingham or Coventry. So I, either way, you know, two very beatable teams. I, either one we get, we should get through. And it's, it's, it's all whether, it's, it all comes down to, it all boils down to whether Nuno is going to make make the cup a, a priority or whether he's going to prioritize the league you know like like he has like he has done in 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 previous seasons i hope he does i hope he well i hope he prioritizes prioritizes the league more because obviously the league's more important and the silverware just just like oh, yeah we did we did quite uh, quite well in in the league this season and we also kind of won, won a cup to the, just place that to the side there now, where are we going to finish? Where are we going to finish in the Premier League this season? That's the most important thing. I think I think we're going to... I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be optimistic and think... We're going to sneak into the top six. We're going to finish sixth. Now, I may be so sounding a bit deluded there, you may think. Or you may think, yeah, yeah, why not? Sixth is is reachable. We only narrowly missed out on 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 sixth last season, but I think to break into the top six, to break into the top six, we really do need to have a strong start. And I think yes, that those couple of defeats to Arsenal and Sheffield United post lockdown probably killed the dream of trying to get into the top six. But also, you have to look at the start of the season as well, and how much the Europa League affected our start to the season. And, you know, we were doing well in, in Europe, but we, 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 we couldn't match that with our league form. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why we finished seventh for the, for the second year running uh, instead of a top six finish. And I think I think that will that will be that will be good. Maybe maybe Nuno, you know, sabotage that game against Chelsea on purpose. Who knows? He probably he he probably didn't. To be honest, he he, he probably didn't sabotage it. He probably he probably didn't, didn't go for the win. To be honest, or Ill, although the players didn't really feel up to it. But oh, uh, that's 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 way in, like way in the past, isn't it? Now. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think you're you're not being your will will be quite beneficial for us because it'll allow us to to really focus on the league and obviously we'll still have the distractions of the league cup but maybe you know obviously I I I've mentioned but earlier in the video that I'd love to I'd love to see us win a bit of silverware this season but even if if we don't win a bit of silverware that will that that will allow us to to perform better and properly focus on the league because you know no dis no distractions absolutely fantastic i'm i'm quite quite optimistic and i may i that may come back to bite me at the end of the season but i i feel like the signings we have made in the past week have really we we've re we've really started to make progress and hopefully fabio silva can to, can hit the ground running Hope you did enjoy. Uh, I'd like to know your, your predictions down in the comment section below. And I shall see you on Monday with a review of the Sheffield United game. Until then, goodbye guys.